Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a pie chart in Microsoft Excel. A pie chart is commonly used to show proportions of things. For example, how things might be distributed between certain answers, like in this example here. I've asked, how do you travel to work? And let's imagine these were the responses. The pie chart will allow us to show how these answers were distributed. For example, here at the top we've got car, which is by far the most popular choice, so that will be the biggest section of the pie. So you'll need to get your data ready. It can be as simple as this, this doesn't matter, this will work perfectly. We've got uh, answers on the left and the number of times it happened on the right. So we've got car 327 and so on down the list. Head over to the insert tab at the top, which is third in from the left, and then find the pie chart icon under the chart section here. Click on the drop down menu and then you can choose the type of pie chart you like. You can have a 2D one, 3D one or a donut chart. I'll just choose the 2D one for now. And you can see it's brought in this empty box here. Now you wanna make sure that you've selected this empty white box and you should have this uh, chart tools section here now at the top. And if you're in the design tab, you can go over to select data. Now it'll bring up the select data source window on here. All you'll need to do is make sure that the cursor is in this box and then select your table. You'll just want to select the answers and the numbers. You don't need to select the top bit and you should see something along the lines of this. Then you can click OK and it will be pretty much done. That's the great thing with Excel. We'll just make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see and you can see that's worked perfectly. So almost three quarters of people chose car. Uh, we can confirm that that's the case from the list on the left here and in the pie chart itself. So now we've got the pie chart, we can do a few things with it. We're first gonna change the title. If you double click here at the top, you can edit the words, uh, what it says. So we'll just put the title of the chart here. How do you travel to work? We can change the appearance from this bar at the top. You can see it's got a few presets here. We've got a dark one and a few different ways of presenting the data. It's completely up to you for this. Just use the one that you prefer. There's a few other options as well if you click on these arrows here on the right. You can change the colors that are used on the pie chart from this icon here. There's some presets again and if you click the drop down box you'll find a few more. So you may want to add labels to your pie chart to maybe indicate the sample size that you've used. So for example, at the moment, it only looks like about just under three quarters of people chose car, but we don't know how many people that actually is. So to add labels, go to the add chart element icon here, the furthest left. Go down to data labels and you can choose center, for example, or whichever one works for you. So outside end might work best for us. You can see now we've got the numbers labeled. You can actually make these a percentage if you wish. So it's almost three quarters. We can see that visually, but it's probably going to be about 70%, but we'll confirm that if we go to data labels and then more data label options, it will bring up this section on the right here now. And you can see that we've got some tick boxes. You can unselect value and then click on percentage and you'll see, yeah, it's exactly 70%. And at the moment it is labeled where we chose it before. So to change that again, data labels, and then you can choose center. You can save a little bit of time when changing the labels by going to quick layout here. There are a few presets on how the labels and things will look. So we can see that that one's got the legend towards the right now instead of the bottom and it depends how you want your data to look, but that might be your preferred choice. On the format tab, you can choose different things like the font used and it's uh, pretty much self-explanatory, same as how it would be if it was just normal text. If you think that a pie chart might not be the best choice and you want to change it once you've created it already, you can go to change chart type here and then you can choose another one. You might wanna choose a bar chart, for example, and you can see that's how it would look there. So those are the basics of creating a pie chart in Microsoft Excel. You'll obviously be able to do a lot more things than I've done just by having a look through the tabs at the top here. Hopefully I've been able to help. If the video did, remember to leave a like, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you in another video.